You know it. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. I'm looking for Samara. Like I said, she's at the commercial wow. spaceport. You can hail a cab at the yeah, pedestal gotcha. on that balcony over there. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Why are you worried about other species coming into contact with her? If a Justicar kills an Asari, none of us questions it. But if she killed a human... Do you think the Alliance would understand her actions and respect her authority? You can't even figure out your own religions. It's a big, diplomatic incident just waiting to happen. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's, like, I don't know a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. Well, what do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them. But only in well-lit places. With my guards. And only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item. And they are all cold-blooded killers. Why would these Mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. 
We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dacny Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. I should go. Enough of the breathing. Gets annoying after a while. Alright, can't go over there. Cops don't admit it, but the Eclipse sisters run this area. Okay. Nothing to see here. Move along. Really? Boo. Pass card, of course. I wanted to be a Justicar when I was young. Anything over here? No? Alright. Talk to the detective then. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. We've got that covered. <laughs> if you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? <laughs> That's about twice a day. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. Uh... I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her, and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her. Yeah, just a little bit. I don't trust that Volus. There's something about him. Yeah, he is not exactly trustworthy. Thanks. Hmm. Uh oh. I know what that means. Shooty shooty. A oh, salvage thing. Might as well. It's free 3,000 credits. Oh, Garrus. Oh, man. I was going to use the arc protector. Don't want to ruin it. There we go. Yep, wrong one. There we go. One fall. Where? What the hell? Ah! Okay. Weird. Those were my 
my best troops. Tell me what I need to know, and I will be gone from here. Where did you send her? You think I'd betray her? She would hurt me in ways you can't imagine. The name of the ship. Your life hangs on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. What was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell! Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed What was that? Me. Are we friend or foe? I'm gonna show like a quick image of what I saw. It's seriously like one frame. One singular frame. Okay. Uh. I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me. But I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them. But I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. There must be some way we can all get what we need. I see a way. While I am in custody, you find the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. Can you tell me more about Justicars? We are individuals who have forsworn family, children, and worldly possessions aside from some weapons and armor. We travel Asari space righting wrongs as defined by the ancient code we have each memorized. Ilium may be dominated by Asari, but it isn't in Asari space. My quarry fled to this place. I am sworn to hunt her down, and I will follow anywhere she goes. It is rare for a Justicar to leave Asari space, but I must follow my oath. If I suffer for it, I will accept that. A moment ago, you refused to give up your investigation, but now you'll swear to follow me? If I stay, I will be compelled to kill many innocents to escape incarceration. Like me. I may be killed, and my quarry would be free to continue murdering. If I come with you and survive your mission, I can resume my investigation. To do that, I need the ship's name to track her to her next hiding place. It is a simple choice. A slim chance is better than no chance. This Justicar code seems quite strict. It may seem so to you, but this is my oath. The expedient path may be fast and simple. That does not make it the right path. Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Whoa! Whoa! Kind of strange being able to have the tech armor on. Even though not in combat. Huh. <laughs> it looks like I'm some kind of juggernaut. Yikes. Where is Pitney? Oh, he's right there. Garrus, what are you doing? Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. 
I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse. So they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it. But be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous. Whatever. Oh, here we go. I think, anyway. Detected. Bring it on, Eclipse. Oh. Got nothing on me. Weakening their <laughs> Whoa. Shepard, my scans confirm that the Max out meter will kill you. Yay. However, concentrated exposure will cause severe tissue. Oh crap. Damage. I recommend limited exposure. Ooh. Just die. I'm gonna melee that Merc. That Mac. Sorry. Merc, Mac. Whatever. They're all the same. Ow. What are they using? Garrus, again. You are the sniper. But. Change weapons. Alright. Let's have two snipers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey now. That's a little mean. Pull your jets. Hmm. Surprise, there's nothing in there. Either of them. Wait a minute. What? Assault shotgun. What? Yes! Awesome! Grunt is now a way better character. To use, anyway. weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. What do they do here that you don't like, Elnora? I thought we'd be flying around the galaxy shooting up bad guys and stuff, right? But no. They just sell red sand and illegal weapons tech. They even smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. What ship did they use for the smuggling? Wow, I have no idea. It was a few days ago, and like I said, I'm new. They didn't tell me anything. What does Ardat Yakshi mean? It's an ancient Asari word for something that... I thought was just a superstition until now. It means demon of the night winds. 
I didn't think they were real, but the boss said this scary lady was one. Get out of here, Elnora. If you so much as jaywalk, I will find you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going. Thank you. Oh, she didn't actually drop her gun. That sucks. Oh well. This might be useful. Sweet. Finding so many nice things. Have I mentioned I like the lights in this game? Just because of that glare? That crisis level glare? Ah, more toxic stuff. Whoa. It doesn't work on mechs. Alright, it does. Okay. Breaky, breaky. You too. Come on. Oh, yeah. I thought I was gonna hit the wall, but I was hurt to try because the cooldown's so short. Just die. Yeah! Hey, hello. Good night. I haven't used a Medigel thing in a long, long time. Free money. You'd think they'd double the reward for hacking something, but no. Same credits as touching one of those terminal things. They've seen us. Weakening their integrity. Freeze. Oh, crap. Oh, she didn't snap and die. Whoa. Did that hit him? That missed too. What? Oh no, I just hit someone else. <laughs> little close, little close. Wonder how much it really boosts your biotic powers. Like an actual number. Look, I got double the credits than the hack thing. 6,000 for just opening something. Hmm. It's saved. Get ready. Oh. Deploy warfare. Whoa, god. Go now to the Whoa. Surprised it didn't snap. By it, I mean the body. Weakening their ah. Gunship. That's a ship? Looks like a. Oh, alright, now I see it floating. It looked like it was a spider thing. Uh oh. I'll tear you up. Your toes. No, you are. Dang. Oh, oh god. Oh, just one of them. Whatever. I'll hold them. Hostile engage. Careful. Hey, come back here. Come back. Dang. Guess it helps if I shot at it earlier. Oh, watch for the jerk. Whoa. Just one is a vanguard in there somewhere. Wait, I just saw it. There you are. 
Whoa. I hate you guys for having shotguns. <sighs> oh, ammo. Why not? There's a lot of... Well, not a lot of crap in here, but enough. Well, it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding rounds. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I go home, my friends are going to be so jealous. Elnora was the killer. If we'd known... Detective and I would be interested in this. Yeah. I don't like I'd read what that... I see some words, but... Mostly blurry. Hostiles detected. More max. Work max. Yay. Member offline. All right. More ammo over there. I think I'm gonna need it, because this place is huge, and I can only assume something's about to happen. Yep, of course. Shoot that mother down! Oh, crap. Wow, wow! Okay. A bit mean. I wonder if the arc projector can do anything this thing. Anything to this thing. That's a good word. Aw, running away. Wow, I can still hit it. Well, that worked. That's that's why I saved the heavy weapon. Alright. Med kit and ammo. Oh. There we go. This looks like a shipping manifest. It shows that Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of Red Sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective and I would be interested in this. We gotta keep moving. I bet that was just money. Yep, 6,000 6, credits again. Uh. Niftu. I am a biotic god. I think things, and they happen. Fear me, lesser creatures, for I am biotics made flesh. I don't know what drugs you're on, but stay back and I won't shoot you. You will regret your scandalous words. I am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a... A great wind. A great biotic wind. Yes. The Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Curls. Colonel Campbell here is a uh, little nutty. Are you part of Pitney Force trade group? When I was mortal, I worked for Pitney. Poor soul is probably terrified that I have not returned. He hasn't reported your disappearance. Probably so his departure will get delayed. I get the distinct impression Pitney prefers money to friends. Bah! 
I will wreak a just revenge upon his people. But first, the leader of these mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasaya about like a rag doll. Shepard, this guy couldn't tie his bootlaces, much less fight. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap, you'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last step of my. <laughs> but, great wind. Biotic god. I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. tired. You. may be right. Yes, I'm tired. I'll nap. Destroy the universe later. Yeah, go sleep, Eeyore. So much for godhood. <laughs> oh my god. That was wonderful. <sighs> if only I could switch Thane for Grunt, but oh well. Thane's still pretty cool. Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off world. First a Justicar shows up. Now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass. Bring it on. Nope, wrong. One. Need overload. Firing a high impact shot. Double snipers. Yes. Look at that. Watch her head go pop. I can't wait. Come on, Garrus. Where'd she go? I'm killing newbie women. Awesome. I'm glad my character's female, I guess. Some record of that shit must be around here. She die? Didn't seem like she died. Hmm. That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? We got time. Let's look around some more. There's always something to grab. Whoa, Garrus. Whoa. God. Or maybe there is nothing around here. Just toxic canisters. Eh. Oh, terminal. Alright. Whoops. Never mind. I hit down and a hit right, so. Oh well. Probably just more cash. Should we go back to the spaceport main yard? Let's go. I don't know what they put in me, but I thought it was. Well, you saw. Anyway, thank you, Shepard. Of course. Knock a nut off his drugs. Thank you for removing the Eclipse threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? You never know when something like this might come in handy. If it might change your mind, Earth Clan, returning that manifest would be very profitable for you. If you give it to the detective, her reward will be a pat on the back. Yeah, but I'm not giving it to a dickhead. Let's buy me off. Samara's just meditating, I guess. I want to talk to her. I've got the name of the ship. Oh. 
Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Eclipse smuggled an Ardat Yakshi off-world. She's who you're really after, isn't she? You continue to impress. Yes, I was here tracking the Ardat Yakshi. She is a dangerous criminal, and I will bring her to justice. After your mission is complete, of course. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. By the code, I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. I can see that this is a very important act, Samara. Thank you. Truly, the life of a Justicar can get lonely. I admit I am looking forward to serving with a company of honorable heroes. Shall we return to your ship? <laughs> High achievement. I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar. And you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger and a human at that. But you came through. It's a shame this Elnora escaped, but I'll get her. At least you put her on the run. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. I have proof that Pitney Four smuggled in red sand and illegal weapons tech. I'll send in some officers to arrest him and his cohorts. This is a big help, Shepard. I can't do much to thank you, but we do have a small discretionary bounty fund. Take this. I will stare into my ship, and I will teleport to it. Well, good shotgun, tons of credits. Biotic damage, which is a crazy increase, but alright. 